All right, guys, we're going to be using this. 130 seconds sounds head. It's a black and chartreuse with a little bit of gold flake and a pink crappy nipple. Let's we'll see if we can't make something happen here. Using a little slab shaker, Mr. Crappy. Four pound test line mono. We're just gonna drop it all the way down to the bottom and reel it back up slow. And we'll draw all these pylons and move on to the next columns. All right, guys. That's probably the smallest crap I ever caught. It was down there pretty deep. Pretty little guy, let's let him go. All right guys, finally got something with a little decent size to him. Probably 10 inches, nine and a half inches or so. First drop at this new, this new column. But uh, and he swallowed it. Guys, got another little six inch midget. He ain't gonna cut the grade. Let's let him go try again. So, what's going on, guys? We end up getting back to the boat ramp, loaded the boat up, about to head to the house. Um, sorry I couldn't get all the actual setting the hook on the fish footage. They just so in between, so much time in between of when I was catching them. But I, my camera would have died before I could even show you a fish. Um, we ended up getting about 12 of them, and I didn't even get all of them on camera. They was mainly undersized. I didn't want to bore you with it. But we did get what we came for, uh, one decent size one and one a little bit smaller one. That way, I kind of wanted to just to show y'all two ways of how I clean and cook my fish two different ways. So, uh, But anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'm going to finish loading this up, and we'll catch y'all guys at the house. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. <clears throat> we're going to clean these fish. I'm going to do it three different ways, and we're going to cook them and find out which way is better. But y'all stand by, and let's get to cleaning these fish. We're going to do this big one first. So all you're going to do is cut up, and you want to cut up into the head whenever you do it, and go angle your knife in with the scales. That way you ain't trying to cut the scale, so... We're gonna do it just like this and follow this backbone all the way down. I'm gonna turn the knife <clears throat> and just bring it back. You'll feel the bones in there. You feel the rib cages go up and around. And crappy bones are, are soft, so. You'll cut right through the pin bones. We'll turn them over and just bring a knife down the ribs. Now I like to leave it on there. That way it helps you hold it. It's kind of hard to hold it with your fingers when it's slimy. Anyway, that's your fillet. Right here in the middle, you got just a touch of pin bones you want to cut out about like that she's ready to cook um, <clears throat> this little one what you want to do we're going to scale it we're going to cook it whole minus the head so you turn your knife backwards and we'll just get the scaling You want to get all the scales off. You don't want to eat no scales. They don't taste too good. You 
then what you can do it helps with crappie and this is about the only fish it works with take your water hose and go against against the scale grain their scales are so soft on crappie you really ain't even got to use your knife After you do that there, I'm just gonna cut the head off. Like I said, there's a little bit of meat up here in the top of the head, so angle your knife in. Cut it like that. Cut here. Just reach in there and get all the guts out. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like guts in my fish, so I get them on out of there. And that's just ready to be fried whole, and the best part, I think, is the tail. <clears throat> There's other fish over here, the other side, what I was going to show y'all, my other favorite way to eat it, get the scales off of him, and then this side right here, we're going to leave the skin on the fillet, so we're just going to cut down, and then we're going to take his ribs off and everything all in one. So then you got the skin on, but it don't have any any scales on it. You just take the rib cage here since we went through the ribs. And we're just gonna cut that out. That way it'll be. So anyway, we get this one, it's boneless, but it has the skin on it. And you'll see when we fry it how this curls up. I think it's much better. Um there we go. So we got the tail, the whole fish with the tail gutted and scaled. A fillet with no skin, boneless, and then we got a fillet with skin. So we get all this cleaned up, go inside <clears throat> and see which way the best way is to have crappy. But uh, we'll catch y'all in the kitchen. Stay tuned. All right, guys, made it back inside. We already got our fish going. Um, only thing I did was took a Ziploc bag. Then I added a little bit of this Everglades all-purpose breader. And if you use this, don't put any salt, any pepper. It's got all the seasonings you need. You can find it at Publix. But uh, we got all the fish in here. It's been about halfway. About three and a half minutes or so. We'll go ahead and, and flip them. And we didn't forget our little tail piece. If y'all ain't had fish tail, y'all need to give it a shot. I think that's probably the best part of a fish. But uh, y'all stand by. We'll get back, get back to y'all whenever we take these things out and uh, see which way is the best way. Either the skinless, the skin on, or the whole fish. All right, fish is done. Done cooled down. It's time to judge. So let's start off with the tail. See how the tail piece is. Okay. And I'm basing this fish one through 10 off of crappy, not compared to any other fish, but mm, I give the tail a 12. Let's do, this is the skin on crappy filet. Still a little hot. Oh. Okay. Let me give that about a nine. This is the uh, skin off fillet. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it is as good, but it's still pretty good. I'll be at like an eight on that one. And for the bone in one, I don't, I don't think it's really kid friendly. But to eat this one, it's got a bunch of bones, but it makes it easier. 
if you pull this top dorsal fin, all the bones come out like that. You can take your fork and go down one side and you'll see the spine bones. Then it just pulls away. Um, so for the whole crappie, let's see if bone makes any difference of flavor. And people say if you eat a steak with a bone in, you know, it's better flavor. Well, let's try it with crappie. Hmm. Still not bad. But for some reason, and it was cooked a little longer than the other pieces of fish, just because it was thicker piece, you know, I wanted to get center done. But the meat seemed a little bit more mushier to me. Um, I'm going to give that probably a, a five and out of crappy. I mean, a five, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just a little mushy for me. And I'm going to give it a five because I don't think it's really kid-friendly or... If your first time eating fish and hand somebody a whole fish, they're probably gonna get bones all in their mouth. So I just don't really think it's a friendly way to eat fish. But uh that's my take on it, guys. Out of the uh the whole fish, the uh fillet with no skin and the fillet with skin. I'm gonna have to give the fillet with skin judging just the meat, not the tail. Um probably my favorite. But anyway, guys, that's all we got for you today. I hope y'all liked it. If y'all want to see anything else in particular, let me know. If y'all want to see whatever, gar, carp, I don't know. We can try it. I ain't never had them, but we can try it. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. Take care. God bless, and we gone.